What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel, Roadrunner Reviews. My name is Ben, and in today's video, I'm gonna be stripping the paint off my 1977 Datsun 280Z. So if you guys aren't familiar, I'm doing a build project. It's kind of, kind of my quarantine project of the car, so stay tuned. So yeah, as you can tell, um, I already started stripping the paint here. Uh, I'm, right now I'm just using the angle grinder, electric angle grind, grinder to take some of the paint off with also some paint thinner. Um, and then I'm going through, once I get most of it off with a, a dual sander, um, just to kind of smooth it out and go up in the grits. Um, today, I didn't take this off front windshield yesterday. Um, I need to take it off today and then mask all that off. I got the side door trimming off here. I need to take this off the door. Um, so I can protect that as I sand the rest of that. Also the door handles I need to take off too. I just kind of, uh, I wanted to start filming yesterday but I forgot my memory card so I kind of just wanted to get started knowing that I would come back today and finish the rest of the job. Um, I did, <laughs> uh, was taking the window off in the back but I literally got to the last strip here and the whole window just shattered. So um, I will be replacing uh, the window which is Okay, it's whatever. As long as I protect this front window, I'm fine, but the back window, it is what it is, right? Um, so you, yeah, as you can tell, um, I did probably maybe hour and a half, maybe two hours so far. Um, it feels smooth to the touch. I, it's still not anywhere close where it's gonna be, but, but yeah, this is kind of the start. Um, the original color was this kind of baby blue or sky blue color. Still debating on what color I should go with after I'm finished. Um, I'm debating also against painting the car versus just wrapping it, meaning that putting the layers of the primer on, making sure it's completely smooth. And if I can't come to a decision on what color I want to paint the car, I will just wrap the car in that color. And then if I change my mind, rip it off. But it'd be a whole lot better than me have to sand down the whole color um, if I don't like it later on. And then also I have um, body parts ordered from Skillard um, that should be due in about a month. So I want the car, or maybe a little less than that. So I want the car completely like ready and then I can mock everything up and then just do the primer on the whole car all at once. Um, so what I'm getting is uh, the front bumper air dam, a new grill, um, and then also what is called a under, uh, splitter side skirt along the side here and then a the rear diffuser. Um, so I can really mock everything up with the wheels and you know get it on the ground and see what it looks like uh, But yeah, so for today's video, I'm pretty much just gonna be grinding the rest of the car here and uh, trying to Get it to a point that I like um, All right, here we go All right, so as you guys can tell we finally took the windshield out It was a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be and then I also took the dash out uh, typically, I would put like cardboard in here and you know tape it off. But to be honest, the whole inside's out, the interior's out. I need to clean the interior anyways later on. So I'm probably just gonna leave it as is. Kind of lazy, but whatever. Um, right now, I'm just gonna avoid this area of the door frame. I still have to go in and remove the glass of the door and the door handle itself. But I, I honestly want to start working on this during the daylight, and I'm not sure how long that might take. So. I'm just gonna continue working on the body and then when it gets darker out, I'll go ahead and work on that and then finish that up another day. Um, but for the most part, I'm just gonna go at it with an angle grinder with this uh, kind of paint remover tool. It's been working pretty well. It's very tedious and like labor intensive, but it works and that's what matters. I, at first I was using the chemicals to strip the paint, but then I have to wait some time for the paint to, for it for the start to kick in and then I have to remove it and then I have to like make sure that I put something on it so when I go through with this it doesn't just splash all over because that stuff is like not good to breathe in but um, I just find this to be a little bit longer and more labor intensive but it's actually faster in regards to wait time I can actually just kind of knock out as much as I can uh, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, where we're at. Uh, I'll kind of start and uh, record some of the process and then fast forward to the end. What's going on guys? So I finally sanded down all the paint on the car. Um, unfortunately, while I was using the GoPro to show you the process of me going through the car, 
and sanding it down to paint off um, the GoPro malfunction. So I'm not sure how much footage actually got retained on there, but I apologize. Um, I actually just ordered a new one. So hopefully on the next, when I start doing the body work, I can really show you exactly the process. So you can critique me and do all the things you like to do. Uh, but yeah, let's just kind of look at the car. Looks really good. Um, I, the main reason why I wanted to bring it all the way down to the metal and get rid of the paint is because I wanted to see the condition of the car, um, where the rust was at. I still have some fine corners that I need to go through with the Dremel, um, but these are very easy uh, to get through, like the door handle I'm still gotta take off. And then kind of down here, um, just a little bit close to the edges. Uh, but for the most part, um, the paint or the body looks really good. Uh, I'm gonna start working on body work after I clean this up, um, get all like the dirt and stuff off of it. And then just kind of getting ready for the first layer of uh, primer. Um, but for now, everything looks pretty good. And the only areas that I have had troubles with was kind of on a, uh, the, in your usual spots, like down here, I could tell that there's some raised areas and high points, but that's what body work's gonna do. I just need to grind it down a little bit more so the rust isn't below it. <clears throat> I didn't want any rust to be underneath um, the primer and then underneath um, the wrap that I'm gonna do for the car. And that's the reason why I really wanna go this far. I'm not in a rush to do this car. I kinda wanted to really do it right um, and just prep it all the way right. But it looks great in my opinion. Um, I would go on this side, but it's a little tight right now. I got a lot of stuff over there, um, but yeah. I'm also going to prep the engine bay for paint too. Um, so the engine bay is going to be gloss black, which I'm probably going to spray. And then interior is going to be all gloss black in here, which I'm going to spray. And then I'll show you guys the wrap color uh, once it arrives. But um, I should be about maybe seven or eight hours, hopefully, of body work of just kind of going through with the body filler and uh, making sure all everything's level, sanding it down, going up the stages of sandpaper. And then um, hopefully by this time next week, I should be able to start wrapping, um, which I'm excited for, because by then I should get the rest of the body parts that I've ordered down here um, so I can mock everything up, um, make sure it looks good. And then, um, yeah, we should be one step closer uh, to getting the body done. And then I can start working on the engine and uh, I can go through that process with you. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. And if you want to see more of this build, uh, please subscribe. Peace.